at IDAO. And you're, I'm a coach, a board member here for the Minnesota Girls Softball League. Okay. And I coached um, the Perez girls for the last three seasons. When you heard something like this had happened, what was the first thing that went through your mind? Just my heart sank. It was um, truly uh, unbelievable. Right? When people say, you know, it's, uh, these events are unbelievable. I, I feel it. Like, you know, it's just um, uh, super hard to gasp. Uh, just, just the idea um, of the entire family uh, not coming back to our softball family. So, uh, yeah, hard, hard sank. Um, I immediately got on the phone with my wife, who was also very close to Carly. Um, you know, the entire uh, my family was also uh, uh, very close outside of the softball field. You know, um, my little one very close to them. Um, so I, I think she's probably taking it the hardest um, of all. How long did you coach the girls? Uh, the last three seasons. Yeah. So um, well, what, what was it like years. being their coach, not just their friend? Oh, they, they were just amazing athletes. Um, and, and not, just, not just talking about skill. But, um, you know, the girls were definitely raised well by their parents. Uh, extremely respectful. Um, these were the players that stayed around after every practice, every game, and would, and would wait to get to my attention and, and thank me for for, for, for about time. Um, and, and that spoke well. Um, you know, the girls were sweet. You know, um, uh, they had a lot of confidence. Uh, they were kind, uh, respectful. Uh, had a lot of energy. Um, girls had great smiles. Uh, just a smile that would light up the field. The fact that you won't be able to coach them now, how big the loss is that? Um, I, I still don't believe it. I still don't believe it. You know, um, three seasons in a row, you know, um, you know, in the softball league, uh, no one's guaranteed to be on a certain team. Um, so we're just truly blessed to have them for three seasons in a row. And you know, we're expecting the youngest one for the first time uh, to join the softball league. So it's, it's just it's tragic uh, to say the least. What positions did they? Um, so they both pitched. Uh, they both wore the number 44, uh, both uh, Olivia and Emily. Uh, and, they, and they were both pitchers. Probably. And the little one? Uh, the little one, uh, we're not sure. Uh, we're going to throw her in here and see, and see where she's stuck. But uh, I'm sure she would have been a great contribution no matter where we put it. Thank you. It's tough to talk. Say probably about that. Just, just uh, two years ago, it's this September will be two years where uh, my wife passed away. It'll be two years since she's passed away, and she coached here. Our children played here with Menifee, and it was you guys that came to to mourn with us as well. A lot of you reached out and showed your love towards us, and so. It's not a surprise to see everybody here today to be able to uh